Hey guys, Silence Zero here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. This time around, in the events of the marriage, Macross 7 event, um, I don't know, Dana has really set up a very unique set of gachas for us. Um, for fans of Macross 7, you probably might have taken it um, in the wrong kind of view, like I did, <laughs> because I thought. Finally, Milane decided to, um, you know, get hit. <laughs> so, um, I was kind of happy that she finally might have decided to pick somebody, but uh, apparently it's not the case. I mean, even though Basara does look snazzy and all in the, uh, the suit and all that, but you know, Milane's costume does still look like a performer's costume. Uh, like Basara's, so that really kind of threw me off for a moment. I thought she might look elegant and all that with you know the banners image and all that. But now let's take a look at the costume itself. Um, you you can tell straight away, uh, that Milene's costume does look exactly like what a performer would wear because she's wearing shorts and you know, uh, <laughs> all that. So. Even though she does have like a small veil at the top of her head uh, that kind of indicates a kind of a wedding dress style. Um, so yeah, with with the look of Milane's costume looking like a performer's costume, it is definitely not the case that Milane has finally picked Basara to be the one. Um, even the images for the episode plate um, <laughs> kind of suggest that. Look at Gumlin. Gumlin is like raging over there even though like i think it's like um both episode plates of basara's pre-evolve and milane's pre-evolve are kind of like telling a story where in basara's image um milane is kind of like deciding to get married i guess that's why she has that marriage word there then in milane's version of the pre-evolve plate you have gumlin going there um, kind of shocked um, that maybe uh, he doesn't want her to pick somebody else but him. So, but I, I have to agree that cake is adorable. Uh, Guvava looking all happy, winking at the corner, and I don't know is is Guvava actually edible on the cake? I I kind of wonder what kind of chocolate Guvava is made of. So anyway, guys, let's take a look at the episode plate of Milane's uh, brand new gacha, and let's see whether her episode plate is actually more powerful than Basara's. Um, cause Basara's was. Not exactly fantastic as well, it's a pretty uh, mediocre episode plate. So let's see whether Milane uh, is actually better than his or maybe on par with Basara's um, groom episode plate. So uh, for Milane, 3,367. So the total score kind of hints at that um, Milane's plate is somewhat similar to Basara's. So I guess both their episode plates are on a pretty mediocre uh, level of use. So definitely not one of the top tiers i would say slightly lower than top tier but still useful in some sense um focusing on voice and a bit of soul center skill units total is boosted by 30 percent up so when it boosts a total stat i guess um 30 percent is pretty decent um but it's definitely not the best kind of percentage boost that you want to focus on if you're going for high score um, total does play a part, but you know, like let's say for example, the song does have a, a particular stat that they focus on, like for this current event, um, voice is definitely the main focus. So maybe you might want to use an episode plate that or costume um, that actually focuses on boosting voice itself instead of total overall score. But you know, um, there are just many ways to play around with getting the best high score achievable all right so let's move on to the next page so active skill also an s rank wow so milane's plate actually has all three skills at s rank but sadly to say hers is not meant to be used as a high score achiever uh, while basara's was actually a high score achieving episode plate so her active skill basically um, for 20 seconds you will have an easier time tapping notes so milane's is definitely going to help you practice those difficult songs 
uh, but at the same time her life skill is there for you to achieve those high scores that you really really want to get from certain songs of this particular element because it has an S rank of score and damage so we know by now what a score and damage life skill does basically um, at the 60 second mark for 16 seconds every second your health will deplete by 20 and boosted your score by 100% up so pretty decent set of skills sadly to say her stats on the episode plate kind of make this plate pretty mediocre so let's take a look to see whether this plate does have that special note attached to it and let's go and sadly to say nothing attached to the plate just like Basara so Overall, both plates for Basara and Milines are pretty um, okay. Not the best plates that you might want to achieve or obtain. Um, yeah, so the four divas equipable with this plate is pretty important as well, especially for those of you who only focus on certain divas. So should you actually throw your money into this episode plate? I would say no. Um, if you do have spare singing stones for this gachapu, I think it's okay to pull it because apparently uh, Milane's costume can only be obtained through this gacha um, and of course if in the future her episode plates return again in a reissuing gacha there's your chance to obtain the costume once again if you f uh, if you kind of fail to obtain the costume um, this time round all you have to do is just basically earn an episode plate from this current gacha that has the costume points for Milane's costume and maybe you might want to use your episode ops to um, fully unlock the costume if you are a die-hard Milane fan that is kind of uh, well you don't really have a singing stone safe up at the moment um, yeah that kind of situation so anyway guys um, with all that said I am just going to do a single template pool for Milane's gacha and that's it um, I just really really um, want to use the rest of my singing stones for the upcoming raid boss event if you guys heard my last uh, video regarding Basara's gacha, you probably will have heard me say that uh, the tip that you probably want to save up your singing stones for the Red Boss event, or if you've actually read my post on my uh, Facebook channel, uh, sorry, Facebook YouTube channel, uh, wait, that didn't sound right. YouTube channel Facebook page. Okay, that's, that's the way it's supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, if you guys read the information that I posted there, I did hint that as well when you guys receive the 500 singing stones from the uh, costume polls, um, if you did participate in it, make sure you save up those 500 singing stones because you are definitely going to need it if you are intending to achieve top 100 for the Red Boss event that's coming right up after this current event. So anyway guys, without further ado, let's pull this 10 plate gacha. Alright, so we do get a bit of loading, so I can't say for sure that we might get something fantastic, but there is a chance um, for the brand new episode plates to appear, so definitely that's what we're looking for. Uh, of course, if we do get a rainbow box, it's definitely a bonus. So one red box off the first bling, two red boxes, so not too bad, there is a chance for evolution. Sadly, no evolution, okay, that's fine, as long as you give me a brand new episode plate, that's okay in my book. So duplicates are always welcome, if you guys don't know by now, if you guys are new players, yes, duplicate episode plates from Gacha Pools are a good thing, you know, because you need them for events and of course um, gaining materials for unlocking your episode plates if you guys aren't familiar by now please go ahead and watch all those videos i've made for the tutorial section of my channel um, they're under the playlist utam across tutorials if you guys aren't familiar with how my channel works by now so yeah all right so here we go the last red box and uh, nope everything is an old plate oh my goodness okay we do get one new plate so there we go we get uh, <laughs> the notification that we have points for Milane's brand new costume which is holy crawl how do you read that holy guroli what in the world <laughs> that's a very strange name for costume it says guroli so or is it glory i think it's holy glory but dang japanese hiragana's are 
make no sense sometimes. Okay, never mind. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys had way better luck than I did. So the last video and this one are terrible pools. Um, we are definitely on the roller coaster downhill. Um, definitely at one point of time in the future, we are definitely gonna have better luck than this current videos um, that I've been recording. And I can't wait, you know, because it's fine for me. The Macross 7 Divas are pretty okay. They're not the, the, the most favorite for me. Uh, definitely you guys know by now, why, uh, my waifu is definitely Ranka Lee. So I'm saving up my luck, I guess, for Ranka in the future. Anyway guys, thank you guys again so much for watching. Let me know by hitting the like button down below if you appreciate all the info shared once again. And of course, share the video to your friends who are interested in Uta Macross. And I'll see you guys soon in the next Uta Macross video. Until then, bye!